Well, this morning we are remembering Eddie Van Halen, the guitar legend, died of cancer Tuesday at age 65. And we got a couple of music fans together for that, one who's usually behind the scenes, but this morning our executive producer, Mike DiGiorgio, the biggest Van Halen fan I know, uh, we wanted, we thought it was appropriate for you to reflect yeah. here. Yeah, it's a little bit weird doing this, Alexis. I don't even know how to wear an earpiece, as you can see. I'm just gonna hold this <laughs> up to my ear if you don't mind. I wanted to bring in another friend of mine, though, to, to help me through this. That's uh, my good friend, Dave Kane from 96.5, WCMF. Dave, thanks for uh, getting up and doing this this morning. Well, I was already up, Mike, and uh, and thank you very much, and I apologize to the listeners that they have to see this face for radio on their TV this early. Oh, that's all right. You, Dave, probably play Van Halen every day, I would think. Absolutely. What what was the... Describe the heritage appeal for me. Why, why they've stuck around for you guys. Well, you know, um, when I started... Uh, more than 40 years ago, Van Halen had only had two albums out, but it was after the first album that they pretty much, Eddie Van Halen turned the world upside down. You know, he and uh, Jimi Hendrix were, they were once, uh, twice in a century kind of uh, individuals. There was nobody like those two, and they really turned uh, the world upside down on its axis, on its musical axis, and just the continued success and the just incredible, you know, jaw-dropping talent of Eddie Van Halen. Every album, it was a different sound. It was uh, uh, some different histrionics with his guitar. But, of course, it was the songs and the chemistry of the band. You had two huge stars. You had, of course, David Lee Roth yeah. up front and, and Eddie, uh, who didn't stand off to the side, although I'm sure he would have been much more comfortable. Uh, he just wanted to play. Uh, but because of his... In, you know, incredible talent. He was thrust into the forefront, and Eddie became a centerpiece of the show as much as their frontman. Yeah, and, he, uh, he again, was always smiling, as opposed to any of the, the angry guitar players out there who took it so seriously. It looked like know, he always funny. loved it. Yeah, the um, a couple of mentions of that trademark grin of Eddie's, uh, you know, surfaced yesterday. As a matter of fact, the headline for the uh, obituary, the news story in the L.A. Times, said "Grinning Guitar God." <laughs> And, and in, in his uh, heartfelt tribute, Gene Simmons, who was instrumental in getting Van Halen's Discovered demo him. shopped around, he bankrolled, you know, a demo when he saw them. He said the first thing he noticed, first thing he heard, he said, what was that? You know, he was uh, seeing the band at a small club with a, a dozen people. And uh, he said, I looked up there and there was just this guy grinning and playing the guitar like nobody's business. I got about uh, it. it was, about a minute left, Dave. Why do you think, you've been through this before, you know, with other rock stars and listeners. Why do we attach ourselves to this? Why do we take it so hard when these musicians who we've never met pass on? I, I think it's, uh, I think it, it, it goes back to what I always say, that music makes such a connection with people, whether it's through the lyrics or whether it's the subject of the song, or it is someone with such uh, enormous talent that you just admire and you wait for more. And certainly, you know, since rock and roll started, the guitar has been kind of the centerpiece. And this is such a huge yeah. loss. Again, it's a it's a, a guitarist of a generation. He defined rock and roll for so many people for so many years, and now he's, he's taken from us. And sadly, it's at the beginning of a tsunami, I think, of classic rockers and, and elder rockers yeah. who are gonna be passing soon, and it's really not gonna be good. You'll be playing some uh, Van Halen today on CMF? Starting at 12 noon today, we'll play a couple of hours worth, and uh, we'll uh, we'll just do what we can. I really don't like being put into this role of chief eulogizer, yeah, no but kidding. nonetheless, you know, here we are, and at 12 noon, we'll give it a right. shot. Thanks for doing this, my friend. We'll we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Mike. All right. Local headlines next.